what I need to do is open up my tool chest. By the way, if you don't see your tool chest up on the left-hand side in the panel over here, simply right-click over here in the gray area, click Show, and look for tool chest all the way at the very bottom. It'll open up your tool sets. Now, your tool sets are the power behind Bluebeam where you can start to utilize tools that have been customized just for you or your use on any project. Now you see that I have some over here and I want to show you how easy it is to start to create your own tool set and then share that with individuals within the company. And then I'm going to show you this neat little trick on how to share it with individuals outside of the company. First, what I'm going to do is create a new tool set live. What I'm going to do is click on Manage Tool Sets. Over here on the right-hand side, I'll click on Add. This gives me the opportunity to create my own custom tool set. And what I'm going to do is let's just call this Contractor Remarks. Contractor Comments. How about that? Contractor Comments. Over here, I'll simply click OK. Now, my options, by the way, are to display it which I want to display it, so I'm going to keep that on. Showing all profiles, where I'm going to keep this off because I want it to show up in a specific profile, and relative path is typically turned on all the time. This gives me the opportunity to always have it in a local directory versus an absolute. So I'm going to keep this as is, simply click OK. And what I'm going to do is put this in a location, and this is key to where I know it's going to be stored. Out of the box, it's going to be stored under App Data. Now, this is kind of a hidden location in Windows, and quite frankly, most users have this file folder hidden by default. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to store this in a different location where I'll be able to access it and then also share this. So instead of placing it over here under App Data, I'm going to place it over here, let's say, on my desktop. So let me just find my desktop. And I'm going to place it here just as a shortcut, just so I can have it. And I'll simply click OK. Now, you'll notice over here on the bottom left-hand corner are my contractor comments, and it's empty. Let me show you how easy it is to start to add these. Now, typically, as an architect, I want to go through and make comments fields for my different contractor comments. Maybe one is for the, the main contractor. One is for a different sub and a different type of sub as well. Um, maybe one's metal. Maybe one's electrical. And I want to identify different things or that they can use during a session. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply go over here tools, go to markup, and using my favorite function, the cloud plus button, I'm simply going to go over here and start to make a cloud. Now, this cloud over here is generic right now. And what I'm simply going to do is this is a placeholder, and I'm going to call this um, general contractor. And when the general contractor, let me see if I can type this again is going to put in information here, it's going to be in a certain color. So I'm going to go General Contractor Comments. General Contractor Comments. And for this one, I want, there we go. When working on this one, I want it to have a specific color associated with it. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to its properties over here and start to change some minor things. In this case, I'm just going to do something simple. I'm going to change the fill appearance, and I'm going to have it be this color right here, and maybe even make it just a little bit lighter. I tend to find that the lighter colors work a little bit better. Next, I always want to make sure to have highlight on. And the reason why is if I move this cloud plus over an object, it obscures it. With clicking highlight, it highlights the information underneath it. In other words, makes it transparent. Now, what I'm going to do is over here, change my subject over to GC comments. And you'll see why in just a little bit. This is now going to be comments that I want my general contractor to use when he or she marks up these files.
What I'm simply going to do at this point is I'm going to go back into my tool chest. And you'll notice it's empty right here. And to bring this into my custom tool chest, it's quite easy. All I'm going to do is simply click on it, right click, add to tool chest, contractor comments. And I'm going to hit yes. And it shows up right here. Let's make a couple more. To make a couple more, it's very, very easy. I'm going to select it. On my keyboard, I'm going to do a control C and then a control V. So let's do that together. Control C, control V. And I'm going to add a couple more. Control C, control V. Control C, control V. And each one of these I'm going to make for a unique situation, for a unique color and a unique subject. So over here, this is going to be for the, let's call this electrical. And the color for this is going to be yellow. And I'll just put over here electrical. Over here, this one is going to be sight. And I like that it's green. Oops, wrong color. Over here, my fill color, I'm going to make that green. And the last one over here is going to be um, power. Or better yet, how about let's say owner. And for owner comments, we're going to change that fill color to be blue. All right. Now to add all of these to my tool chest, you'll notice I just have the one. All I have to do over here is simply window around these three, right click, add to tool chest, and I'm going to add these to contractor comments. And you'll notice they're all over here. Now, I want you to notice something that's very unique. In my tool set, you'll see that these look exactly the same as they are when they're on screen. When I drag these or add these to the tool set, they're currently in what's called drawing mode. In drawing mode, it behaves as an exact duplicate if I were to place this again. What I need to do is actually double click on each one of these so that they become in properties mode. They change in properties mode. This gives me the ability to basically go through and create them from scratch as unique custom shapes. Now with all of these selected, I can easily go through, for example, and click general GC comments and window around that. And sure enough, it works perfectly. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to share. I'm going to go ahead and delete these because these were just placeholders. I want to go through and share those tool sets with individuals. Now, there's two ways of doing this. One, all I have to do is, first of all, save the project that I'm working on. Then I can go to tool chests, manage tool chest, tool sets select my new one and click export and it's, it'll tell me i need to save it i'm going to go ahead and hit yes now i have contractor comments and over here i'm just going to simply override this now what i can simply do is the btx file that's on my desktop i can just email that to anyone and when they receive those BTX files, all they have to do is double click on it to have it installed on their Bluebeam. And it's really just that easy. But you might be asking, Rick, what if we were going to create this in a studio session? I need to have all my different disciplines working together using the tool sets that I'd like them to use. That way, the general contractor, when they're working together on a studio session, they have tools and remarks that are in their colors, and I can start to differentiate all the different remarks via subject area. I'm going to create a studio session. And for that, I already have a studio session started over here, and I have a tool set sample. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to this tool set sample file that I've created. Now, this is a simple 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper with instructions that I've placed. And here's the key. I've created a shortcut link right here in the studio session to that BTX file. Let me show you how easy this is to add a link to a document that everyone 
on a session will have access to. Over here, all I have to do is click under Tools, File Attachment. I'm going to browse from Open Disk, and I'm going to go over here to my desktop and find my contractor comments. Simply click Open. Click where I want to place it. Now you'll notice when I first place it in, it comes in with this weird little uh, kind of uh, push pin or paper clip. What I'm going to do while it's still selected is go over to its properties and you'll notice that it's attached as a paper clip, the icon. What I'm going to do is change it to the file icon, but you're going to say, but wait a minute, there's information underneath here. All I have to do is click on show file name. Now, at this point, when I place this here, I have the ability to go through and share this information with everyone. So now, if I wanted to have everyone participate on a session, easy. All I have to do is go to the drawing that I want everyone to be involved in. I'm going to right click and add it to the open studio session. And just that easy, it'll start to be added to the studio session. And you can see the icon up top that shows that's currently in a session. Now, all the participants can go through and start to create their remarks. What I'll do is ask them to also open up the ASTI shared toolset sample file. And all they have to do is simply select this and double click. That's all they have to do. In this case, Everyone would just have to click on open and it would add that tool set in my tool chest. Since it's already installed on my tool set, if I click on open, it's going to tell me it's successful. And now when I go over to my tool set, I'll see contractor comments twice because one was added uh, through this area through uh, the BTX file. So it's very, very easy and straightforward, and you can share multiple tool sets on a single sheet of paper, and that's a very, very easy way. So as a wrap up, there's two easy ways of sharing these files, these BTX tool, tool set files with others. Create them, share them, and either email them to them, or if you're using Studio Sessions, simply make a link on your document that you want to have them share, and then they can double click on it and add it to their own tool set. So that's what I have for today. Thank you so much for joining us today on this quick little session on sharing tool sets and some unique ways on how to do it. Back to you, Caitlin. Thanks so much, Rick. All right, um, everybody, if you have any questions, um, if you're watching this um, recorded, or if you have any questions afterwards, for Bluebeam questions, please contact Bluebeam at ASTI.com. And for general marketing or webinar questions, contact marketing at ASTI.com. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And Rick, again, thank you so much. That was awesome. You're welcome. Thank you.